The 2019 version of the Razer Blade 15 really won me over this year and overall this is the best polished gaming ultra portable on the market right now. Razer packed plenty of performance into this small body, the build is just as robust as it's always been, the software has a purpose and works well, the trackpad is huge and works flawlessly, the screen is great, you get punchy front-facing speakers and they've even added biometrics into the tiny bezel. It still sits a little higher in cost than the competition, but the premium is worth it. Single review, online available. The 2019 version of the Razer Blade 15 really won me over this year and overall this is the best polished gaming ultra portable on the market right now. Razer packed plenty of performance into this small body, the build is just as robust as it's always been, the software has a purpose and works well, the trackpad is huge and works flawlessly. The screen is great, you get punchy front-facing speakers and they've even added biometrics into the tiny bezel. It still sits a little higher in cost than the competition, but the premium is worth it. Always been something that was just a deal-breaker for me. Whether it be cost, green backlit keys, difficult keyboards, RBP, so-so screens, etc. There was always something that led me elsewhere for my daily driver, typically to MSI. But this year is different, as it looks like Razer has done a tremendous job eliminating all the compromises. Design and build The design of the 2019 Razer Blade 15 Advanced model is exactly the same as the Razer Blade 15 of last year. With the exception of half an mm thickness bump, everything on the outside is pretty much the same. Since I never reviewed it before, I'll be more detailed though the overall feel of the machine is nothing but solid. Every way you hold it or handle it spells quality. Coming from my GS65, this is a huge improvement. The GS65 is almost the same thickness, but creaks when holding it one-handed from the front, which is not the case with the razor blade. This is due to the chassis being an aluminum unibody. In fact, the palm rest slash keyboard is CNC milled out of a solid piece of 6061T6 aluminum rather than being a piece of stamped aluminum with a plastic inner chassis that many other manufacturers use. This process adds a lot more strength and durability, which is why I was hard-pressed to notice any keyboard flex at all.